going back to school this year, but I've been getting several requests for back to school DIY projects. So I'm going to show you how I added a chevron pattern to a basic black binder. I'll show you a quick easy way to add this pattern to any surface without measuring or drawing any lines out. Start by laying a ruler down at an angle in the corner of the binder. Then add a strip of painter's tape, making sure to place it right up against the ruler so that it's completely parallel. Then simply move the ruler down below the tape and add another strip of tape. Repeat this all the way to the other end of the binder. As long as you place your tape right up against the ruler, you should get completely parallel lines without having to worry about measurements. Now position the ruler at a diagonal in the opposite direction, but make sure that it is perpendicular to the strips of tape. And the easy way to do this is just to align those tick marks on the ruler with the tape that is already on the binder. Now place strips of tape in the opposite direction using the ruler as your guide. Now you'll need an X-Acto knife to cut out your pattern. All I'm doing is lightly cutting strips of tape away to expose a chevron pattern. Sometimes little pieces of tape will be a bit stubborn, so make sure you clean up the edges as much as possible. As you can see here, by removing these strips of tape, a chevron pattern becomes visible. Once you have your pattern, all you have to do is paint. And be sure to cover up any areas of the binder that you don't want to spray paint. So, who's excited for back to school? I graduated from college a year ago, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda miss it, but I was a total nerd, so maybe that's just me. I waited about an hour before I removed the tape, and all I did was gently peel it away to reveal my new binder. And that's all there is to it. For those of you who are going back to school this year, good luck. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And thanks so much for watching.